Hi, the general election campaign feels like it's already kicked off, even though it probably won't be announced until around the Conservative Party conference in autumn. I hazard a guess. Obviously, the Tories are heading towards a devastating rout, electoral carnage, and all the media speculation about hung Parliament is nothing more than Daily Mail, Conservative Party, wishful thinking. For the doomed Tories, the best they can hope for is damage limitation, retain as many seats as possible. And even for this modest endeavour, they will have to cut a deal with Reform UK, who are already siphoning off a substantial amount of Tory votes. However, at the moment, this looks unlikely, to say the least, as Reform UK's triumvirate, Farage, Richard Tice, Ben Habib, have sworn to bring down the Tories and Sunak, who incidentally, but hilariously, they describe as socialist. If there is a single demagogic issue that could form some kind of unscrupulous compromise, with maybe Reform UK withholding candidates in chosen constituencies, it's a toxic but headlining migration, illegal or otherwise. I think that the real collaboration between the two parties will come in the aftermath of the election, in the growing groundswell of right-wing reaction, with moves afoot to actually merge the two vile entities post-Sunak and maybe a short-lived successor. Considering the vast majority of all forms of politics and commentary will automatically revolve around this forthcoming election, itself a Pandora's box of irrationalities, this will be an indication of what's to come. This, in a complete tragic absence of any autonomous working class rejectionist revolutionary counter politics or anarchic uprisings, points to where the opposition will unfortunately arise, which is the populist reactionary right. Bye.